I'm so tap tap and this game is loud. This is 1159. This is a prototype or whatever you want to call it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Of uh, kind of Game Boy style looking FPS. It's still loud. Press right mouse button for light. That, that's, that's the left mouse button, but you tried. Um, all right, so this is the new Doom 2 or Doom 3 expansion. We're gonna look for the uh, the cyber demon. I think he's in one of these PDAs. It's supposed to have horror elements, which is probably why it's so goddamn dark. I think a GBA first person look is actually really cool. I seem to have run out of battery juice. Is that the spook? Oh, the lights went out. Guys, what is? Is that my head? What is? Well, I have a thing on my head, guys. It's spooky now. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have wasted all of my battery juice, my flashlight juices, on uh, absolutely nothing. But this is reminding me of um, payroll, which was a really cool. Um, that's a key. That's okay. Put the key in. The oh, I have a body. Am I a spooky skeleton? What? What am I? I, I, I don't know what I am. I'm just like polygons. Oh, there we go. Bapri? Is that a Bapri? Oh, shoot. Oh, you use the flashlight to kill spooky zombums. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I forgot to see that battery completely then, but whatever. I think Game Boy, it's a really interesting aesthetic. Uh, I also played um, Four Human. Four Human. For human. Um, heart mug. I played uh, Sack Tech. Okay, so are, are, we, are we work hard? Are we some kind of satanic business? Oh, I guess we are. Um, the Night That Speaks is another um, spooky Game Boy first person 3D game that I played. It was uh, really interesting. I really like that one. If so, if you haven't seen me play that, check that out. Just search a tap tap um, night that speaks. Hello. It was much spookier than this. It was much less FPS, much more horror. Woo! That one got close. I see you. Oh, this, sorry. That's a stoplight. Or I mean, a, a, a plant stoplight. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Coffee. White mugs of coffee refill your HP. Other dark mugs of coffee. Oh gosh, it's a biggin. It's a biggin. Okay, we beat the biggin. I think there's oh, there's another biggin. I'm glad you don't need like every drop of battery because I uh oh we got a USB stick. Totally wasted some. This is interesting. This is le a lot less horror, but it's kind of it's a little tense. I don't know, the, the enemies are less spooky than The Night That Speaks. This is not necessarily, like, they're not made by the same creator. At least I don't think they are, but it was a bit of a different aesthetic in that game. I don't think it's the same creator, but you'll, you'll hear, I'll probably com compare it even more. You have full heart because it's just a, a moderately similar idea. I have full heart, by the way. The music is great, but I'm not sure it really fits. We got some like groove and chip tunes, and there's like spooky zombums trying to eat my booty. I don't know. I guess. Oh, thank you for playing the demo. Okay, <laughs> that's all there is. Development of this game is currently paused. Follow the same studio for more information. Oh, that's a shame. Um. So yeah, this is. Uh, let's just close out the game. So this game's still in development. A minute to midnight, a second to death. 11.59 is an FPS game with a slight horror element inspired by old Game Boy graphics. See, I don't think this was actually made by the Game Boy Jam, but yeah, if you want to follow the game's development, um, go to the description of the video. You can follow um, follow that dude right there. Oh, well, I can't do that right now because it wants me to input my two-factor authentication code, but... Yeah, there'll be a link to the game. You can follow the creator on Itch.io. I love Itch.io, by the way. Itch.io is a great place for all of these, uh, you know, interesting things. 
Uh, just so much good stuff out there. You can follow the developers, get to see new games. A lot of free stuff. So if you don't have a lot of money to spend for games, um, or even if you do, I mean, there's paid games on there too. But it's just a great place to find cool, unusual things that might not be on Steam. So that's 11:59. Can't wait to see more of that. I do think the monster is a little bit, a little bit plain, but you know, it's obviously an extremely early demo. But I do, I do really like the concept. 